Hi, I'm Dad. And I am B oh. Okay. Hey, Bennett, what are we drawing on Drawing the Blakelys today? Uh, Creepy, cre creepy Man. Creepy Man? Creepy Man. Like a... Crawler? Crawler. Spicer. Spicer from... D... Bioshock? D Bioshock. Yes, Bioshock. Two. Now, thank you to... Wait a minute. On the screen it says... Bennett. Ba -ba 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 -bum. You suggested this one? I... Wait, are we taking suggestions from Blakely's? <laughs> All right. Well, luckily for you, I happen to think that this guy is really creepy and cool looking. So, shall we start? Yes, we shall. Should we start with his eye? Uh, which is... The one that you can see? Sure. Sure, Dad, let's do that. Sounds great, Bennett. This guy, you know, actually I was reading some of the things from the Bioshock website before I got on this. Okay. I was reading these dialogue options. All of them. And they were all super inappropriate? <laughs> no, none of them are really inappropriate. He just swears a lot. Well, this sounds pretty inappropriate to me. No, he just swears. Alright, and we're doing them as the folks at home saw wearing that sort of plague doctor you mask. So there's one eye. The other eye is, um, at least in our version, is pretty much not visible. Other than just kind of like some stuff there. Alright. Actor it work verbal. Alright, apparently special guest today, Da Baby. All right, so I'm gonna do. Speaking of Plague Doctor mask, I'm gonna do that big long beaky mask. You nice. see, when I was getting out of the bath, my dad was like, "All right, Penny, if you could suggest anything, what would you draw?" And I was like, "Anything?" And he was like, "Anything." Yeah, since it's been a, a minute since Bennett's been on the channel, I was like, "I want to do something that Bennett's gonna wanna do." So, here's another outer layer of that mask. And so that's what we settled on. That strap coming back behind his head. Awesome. I think next let's do... I want to do his cheek. Gosh, this guy's weird looking. He's got kind of a the Joker thing happening. Except... Also not. Bennett, you had me with what? What do you think got me up with this guy? I'm assume his weirdness. But what's the thing that I always love that and yet I'm creeped out by? The fact that some of his face is not his face. The teeth, man. The teeth. My weird obsession with creepy teeth. Yeah, I think you should really get that checked out. So I'm going to do the, you think I should get my teeth checked out, or you think I should check in with a psychiatrist about my weird obsession with them? Actually, I think you should go visit Dr. Lamb if you're we if you're like this guy. Oh, he's pretty sus. Do you guys want to know why he's so sus? Why? Oh, uh, I'll, be the, here, I'll be the surrogate voice of our viewers. Why, Bennett? Why is he so sus, as you say? Well, you see, guys. Because he's been on so much of the of that darn atom, the genetic goop de goop from those from those slugs, he's turned he's turned into that. And you see, a side effect of taking that goop de goop is that you can hear voices. Because you see that genetic goop de goop takes memories from the people okay. that it takes. And since rap has a lot of people who are turning into splicers and dying in the streets and mm -hmm. having constantly used it, it's not too common that you would see ghost. And this guy couldn't get the voice out of his head. He, he constantly screams in his face that he has voices in his brain that don't allow him to sleep no more. So he can't sleep. So obviously he has insomnia. Also, he's a part of a creepy cult. Okay, and what is the deal with the top of his head here? I don't know, actually. It's like, it's like his skull is like mutated. 
Well, that's because Adam, when you inject it into your body, because mm -hmm. you have to inject it mm -hmm. into your bloodstream, it causes negative side effects, according to... <laughs> side effects may include... Side effects may include insomnia. Insomnia, got it. Craziness. Check. A, un a undying thirst for more. Okay. Uh, going mad. Mapid mutation in your body. Okay. Enhanced strength and other stuff. Mm-hmm. And other, and you see other abilities that the atom plasmids, the atom and the plasmids and the Eve allow you to have. Okay. Like shooting fire, teleportation, crawling on walls. Okay. Check, check, and check. I think I might be one of these guys. And you're crazy. Yep. Check and check, mate. And you look gross. Oh, thank you. Or you mean this guy? Yeah, that guy. He's sus. Oh, no, he's so sus. He screams the word sus. Oh, so that's his dialogue that you keep talking about? No. No, I actually read all of his dialogue, all of it, every single piece. Mm hmm. And may I say, was it worth it? <coughs> I don't know, was it? Oh, okay. <laughs> I, wasn't, I honestly wasn't sure what you were going to say for that. I thought I was going to say this. I, I really had no idea. Now this guy, he wears he wears some slacks and a suspender. And he wears a, like a white uh, t-shirt thing that Dad sometimes will wear. Yep. That's not wrong. I just like all his weird, wrinkly folds and creases and whatnot. Yeah, this guy's a weird, weird guy. All right, so I'm gonna do the the wife of his. That's uh, the wife of his. The neck of his. I don't want to call it the slang term since I don't actually approve that much of that term. That looks like a what? Well, the slang term for this is kind of sure to say wife beater, but... A wife beater? <laughs> Have you never heard that, Bennett? No! Oh, yeah, that's what they call it, because, you know, like a lot of sort of redneck... I'm going to leave hand, room for his hand there. A lot of kind of rednecky type dudes wear these sorts of shirts. I have... And abuse their wives. I have a lot of questions. Okay. I have, I have so many questions. Why is it called a wife beater? Do you beat your wife with this? I literally just said the reason why. I know, but it doesn't make any sense. It's weird. It's like, just a stereotype of a certain kind of person. Say that to his face. Say it to his face. I just assumed not. Why? Because his face is ugly? I agree. Well, he's not exactly pretty. Unless your prettiness is whatever the heck that is, and then yes, it is pretty if you're a weirdo. Which it is not. I thought we just established that I was. Oh yeah, you are a weirdo. But seriously, man, this guy. I don't think this is a. I don't. I think this is like a costume. But this is like really well done. Uh, well, no, this is. Um, what we're looking at here is a detail of. Of a rendering of it, I think. Hmm. But it was a costume. Mm -mm. Okay. I do not believe so. Well, anyway, this guy has no nose. This guy's like Voldemort. He has no nose. He's like Bobby No Nose from Fallout 4. The papers, the papers. Oh no, that's Bobby two times from Goodfellas. You would know Bobby No Nose. Oh. Besides, okay. this guy is racist to fit to ghouls in Fallout 4. Wait, I am? Yes. Or the guy that we're talking about? No, you. Wait, how am I racist to ghouls? You couldn't tell the ghouls apart. The feral no. ghouls and the not feral ghouls. Um. I mean, I wouldn't call that racist just because neither of these things actually exist, but. I mean. If they were real, then you technically be classified as. But no, you're not. Thanks so much. I guess. Let. Oh, look at this guy. 
He's looking at me with weird one eyeball. So anyway, now I can come back in and do this. He is S U S S. Anyway, guys, that once Dad's done, I'm gonna subject him to the torture I had to listen to by Mama Luigi. By Mama Luigi. Yes, he's a YouTuber who makes splicer dialogue. I was forced to witness to listen to it, and my ears and my ears screamed. Bennett, turn it off. Turn it off. Stab me in the ear. All right, should we? Yeah, let's color it. All right, Dad, now I'm gonna subject you to horror. about yourself. Yes. Why are you touching the top of my head, man? I'm not touching the top of your head. I'm touching your B A L D S P O T. Uh-huh. Anyway, let's get back to this. He's hedges. He is not what you call a good looker. Honestly, I do. <laughs> but I couldn't kiss those lips because if I tried to, my my chin would just fall in his mouth. Uh, weird. That's a weird thing to say. Well, because he can't look. His chin is like this. How do you? Well, there you go. There's your buddy, the Splicer. Crawler. Splicer. Crawler Spicer. So, how exactly did you guys meet? Now, is it a cute story? No, we met at um at a uh, at a uh, at a sewer of a way. Mm, you're right. That's not a cute story. He was ripping off the face of an employee, and I thought, "Dang, that guy look hideous." Just Uncle Dave. I don't even know what to say at this point, friends. And I did exactly what Jax told me to do. Jax who? Jax Briggs. I crushed his arms into his body, and I gripped open the sides of his mouth, and I ripped them open, and I used his, and I used the inside of his mouth as an ashtray. Mm. And now he's dead. On that disgusting note... Uh, yeah, there are... I figured are out why his head spicers. is misshapen. Yep, he went upstairs during that last period of coloring activity. And what did you discover, Bennett? Apparently, apparently the right side of his face is just, is just up a couple inches than, than the left side of his face. The right side is higher. That's mm -hmm. why. It's, that's all his brain goop or whatever's in the middle of that. Uh, so... Well, let's go. On that disgusting note, you can find a lot during these videos. You keep saying that's disgusting. Yeah. On your screen, you see our logo. Go and click on that to subscribe. <clears throat> Ring the bell, and you'll be notified each and every time that we put our new video. And click the Smash like. Smash that. With your weird, gross. Yep, use your oversized clawed fingernails to... And look at the screen intensely. Alright, and don't forget to leave any suggestions, especially suggestions. Fallout, Bioshock, any of those related ones. Because Bennett would love to come on and do more of them. Until next time, friends! Bye! Bye!